Welcome back to Once Upon a Game. This is Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to be unboxing the newly released Fields of Fire 2 from GMT Games. This is the Fifth Marines, covering World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. It is solitaire. It is card-driven, like, much like Fields of Fire, uh, the first edition. Um, so let's just take a look in this video as to what you're going to get in the box. One thing I noticed that you're going to get out of the box is that even though this is a for World War II, this is a Pacific Theater game, it claims you're going to get a Normandy terrain deck. Obviously a typo on the box as they were preparing it. I'm sure that you're going to be getting a Peleliu uh, terrain deck for the Pacific Theater. It also covers the Chosin Reservoir, Chosin Reservoir in the Korean War, and Way City in uh, Vietnam. Also designed as the first one by Ben Hall. Sorry myself. So here's what you're going to get inside. First of all, the rule book. It's volume 2, subtitled With the Old Breed, which I believe was the name of the 5th Marines, the nickname. Rule book, quite thick. Usual GMT, excellent quality, full color, matte paper, no shiny glossies. Uh, indexed, but this rule book, and it's just the rule book, comes in at 64 pages. So pop some popcorn and give yourself some time. Then you have the briefing booklet that comes with it. This is going to be the missions. Uh, it's got the Palalu Chosen Reservoir. Uh, you know what? This is briefing booklet one. This just has Korea and World War II. Um, it is 28 pages. Again, full color charts, all the rules you need for the missions themselves. And then we got volume two, which covers the Vietnam campaigns. And they needed 28 pages just to cover Vietnam. So you're going to get two briefing booklets. Again, full color, matte finish. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, you know what? Actually, uh, you're only going to get 14 more pages for for Way City, uh, then you get the historical notes about the 5th Marines and their function in reality in these battles. So that's an awesome resource to have. Now we got some counter sheets. Ooh, we got some self-punching counters here. They're just falling right out. These are the new, newer um, GMT thick counters. Fortunately, they can still do both, um, but these these are, th are the thicker counters. So there are five sheets of counters. We'll jump to this back one here that's already, like I said, self-punching. Um, and they're pretty decent size. Good heft. Uh, might be a little difficult to get in the old corner rounder. Uh, but you know what? They're punching so cleanly, they may not need them. That's the one thing about the thicker counters is they don't have the... Uh, they don't really have the little wispies that uh, the, the thinner counters... The thinner cardboard counters do tend to have, so that's good news. Because um, it's not the it's not the corner of the counter that causes the problems; it's the little uh, little uh, dog ear that comes off of it. So, let's see, I'm missing six. So I got one, two, three, four. I got five counters here. One has probably uh, lost itself in shipping and handling. So. Uh, five sheets of counters. Just like Fields of Fire 2, you're going to have counters for the for the Americans, and then you'll have separate counters for each of the uh, the oppositions, each of the opposing armies, I should say. I don't want to speak English. Yeah, they're just falling right out. That's pretty nice, really. So there's some American counters. Oh. I got some more stragglers here out of sheet four. So I've got, we're gonna go on a counter hunt. Beautiful artwork on them. Very nice. Let's see, I'll take these loose ones out. So I have six, I'm missing about eight. I've got eight out of the sprues. So now you got a mission log, which helps you prepare your units and how much ammo they have. Uh, casualties, experience they earn, and enemy info. It's a whole pad of those. And it grants you permission to photocopy them as you need to. It's also on the reverse. 
just went and tear one off here. You got your mission and uh, you structure your forces, uh, determine what your signals mean, so that you can have them and you use them. You can give full commands. All right, and then we also have here a enemy defense activity hierarchy um, reference card. It's double sided, so a glossy card stock. And we've got the Imperial Japanese Force Packages. Wow, okay. So that's for them. Communist Chinese Force Packages, North Vietnamese Force Packages. So that will be for the uh, various missions that you're playing, different theaters. Okay, there's some loose counters again for me. Let me pull those out. I think that puts me up to eight, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And then I didn't, didn't think they just disappeared in transit. Um, vehicle anti-tank weapons chart, action attempt symbols chart, double-sided, helicopter control card for the U.S. Marine Corps, helicopter control card for the U.S. Army, and then your standard command display, and it's only single-sided because you don't need to be flipping it over in the middle of the game, and then a bifold so four page chart of charts and tables which has your lat limitations weapons compatibility spotting uh, command control actions movement rally combat infantry combat so on and so forth i can't wait to, i gotta learn this i'm going in the system i love world war ii games i love uh, gmt war games so and this is solitaire so what could go wrong right you get a bag oh bags and then you get zero dice, so we'll roll those, and they work because the die rolls are covered in the cards. And as expected, it's actually a Peleliu deck, a Chosen Reservoir deck, and a Battle Away deck. This is your terrain options. You've got buildings, um, field terrain, so on and so forth. Modifiers to terrain. And then as with... Um, as with the first game, you've got your action deck that drives all the action. And we've got a reference card, a couple of reference cards actually, and then your pure, pure action deck. And that is going to be what you shuffle and draw to resolve different things. You've got die rolls, you've got contact rolls, you've got effect rolls, so on and so forth. So. Get a nice deck of cards. They're very gloss, very thick, feel very durable. You might want to sleeve them uh, since they'll be used quite a lot. So, Fields of Fire 2, 5th Marines, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. You're going to get five sheets of counters. You're going to get one action deck, three different terrain decks for the different missions, um, a couple of reference cards. Put it that way. Some reference cards, bags, GMT bags as always. Uh, one, two, two, three, four uh, player reference cards, tactical use cards, a pad of log sheets, five sheets of counters, very thick counters, very nice counters that just just dying to get out and play with you just falling right out of the out of the sprues as it were so there you go briefing booklets two for all the missions and then a huge huge 64 page rule book knock yourself out reading it that my friends is what comes in oh so heavy it's such a thick box comes in fields of fire two so i'm going to close there we go from GNT Games. Thanks so much for watching. Click subscribe. God bless you and bye bye. Oh.